Hi everyone and welcome to Straight Edge Tiki. Today I have a little bit of a challenge for you all and I think you can all do it. Now I know some of you out there are doing dry January and um, yeah you're going to put down the bottle for a little bit but then after well probably within a couple of weeks you'll be back to drinking how you wore before. But I don't know that, that it's sort of like you're washing your car in the rain you know it's like Okay, you're not drinking for this month, but you're going to go back to doing exactly what you did before. What What's going to change? What, nothing. And um, I actually have two different challenges for you all to do. And it's really, really simple. And here it is. If you're going to go out and drink, drink how you normally would. But just make that last cocktail that you're going to have. A non-alcoholic cocktail. Just the last one. Can you do it? Can you substitute one of those tiki drinks for a non-alcoholic tiki drink? I think you can do it. And um, let's be honest, you have to you have to sober up anyway, right? Well, I guess a lot of you. Well, I mean, the right thing to do is uh, take an Uber. But like, hey, you know, you gotta you gotta wind things down. How about this? Here, take it even further. Drink how you normally would, but one time you go out, just drink non-alcoholic drinks. That's a challenge. Can you go out for an evening and have fun and not have any alcohol? Can you do it? Hey, everyone's going to love you because you'll be the designated driver. Here's my final challenge. If you really want to take things extreme. You know, the whole idea about dry January is like, okay, well, you're not going to drink for the entire month of, Jan of January. Well, instead of doing that, why don't you take one week out of every month where you're not going to drink alcohol? And just do that every month. One week or even one weekend. Have one weekend a month where you're like, okay, I'm not going to drink. And just, just do that and see how you go. I honestly feel that that's going to be more effective than just not drinking for a couple weeks and then going back to drinking as you used to. The main reason why I'm, I'm doing this Straight Edge Tiki series is to just bring awareness that there are non-alcoholic tiki drinks out there. And they're good. There's a lot of great ones that I've had. Another thing, too, is I want to let people know that, hey, you don't need to drink alcohol to have a good time. Or that you can be into tiki and love all of this and not make alcohol part of the equation. I'm not telling anyone to stop drinking. I'm not telling anyone to stop drinking. But what I am saying is I'm just saying is like, if you're thinking about stopping, if you think you should stop, if it's something that you're kicking around, these are some ways you can start to um, make a change. So there you go. There's my straight edge tiki challenge. And... Um, when you're, when you're ordering that drink, take a picture of it, put it on your Instagram, hashtag it Straight Edge Tiki Challenge or S-T-E Tiki Challenge. And I'd be curious to see who's all going to do it.